Recently, I have been opening up a bunch of different Sword and Shield era sets with dismal luck. So I decided to go back to the set that has been giving us the best pulls recently, which is the newest one, Scarlet and Violet 151. Hopefully we can pull one of the 10 remaining cards left for us to complete the set. And when thinking of the number of packs to open today in this video, I channeled my inner T-Swift and figured I'm feeling 22. Yo, that's a thing, right? I knew I was cool. Hello everyone and welcome to another Less Than Gosha video. Today we are going back to Scarlet and Violet 151 and that is right, we're opening up 22 packs to see if we can pull a couple of those remaining 10 cards needed to complete the master set. So to be honest, I am not that cool at all. In fact, I couldn't tell you a Taylor Swift song if my life depended on it. I actually did have to look it up to make sure that I was correct in that phrase. Thankfully I was, and hopefully we can also be thankful for some awesome pulls coming up because we have been opening up a bunch of Sword and Shield Era sets recently, and like I said in the intro, they have been awful. We haven't been pulling much of anything, but as you have been seeing on the channel, we are getting a lot of luck with 151. So hopefully that continues today with at least a couple of pulls uh, of those remaining 10, and if not, Maybe a god pack, maybe some secret illustration rares. Either way, I know it's going to be fun. And let's rip into some packs. Real quick, before we get into the best part of any video, let's go over what we have to open today. Uh, we are just going to go right into the packs. But before we do, to let everyone know, we're going to be opening up three Zapdos EX boxes. We have one Alakazam EX box and three mini tins so total those are going to be our 22 packs i will be giving out some code cards for uh, a few of the collection boxes but through the magic of editing the next scene that you see will just be a bunch of packs ready to be opened here we have our 22 packs which i now know is part of the song and here are some code cards so we're just going to go right into these packs uh they are all randomized and mixed up except for the first six that we're going to open so the first six came from the mini tins and based off of what we opened with those earlier on the channel i'm interested to see if they continue to be as godly as we found out them to be on the opening um so a little bit of an experiment to start off with the first six to see if you know there is something there with the mini tins being the best product to get uh, but then from there all of the adaptos and out of them packs are mixed up and we'll see what we can do there is only 10 cards as i said we are really close to mastering this set all that's left are some full arts some regular illustration rare and the last special illustration rare we need is giovanni which is a really cool card um that mewtwo is really cool too so that mini tin that one was a dud but we still have four more from mini tins and let's see what we can do uh but yeah it would be it would be cool i say but honestly with my luck in 151 more overkill if we were to get another god pack um that first one was, was so cool uh especially being the charizard line and nothing there but yeah let me know have you got a god pack before i know they're rare i'm wondering how rare they are um i think one viewer did comment that I think it was the uh, Venusaur line, if I'm not mistaken, that they they got, which is really, really cool as well. But yeah, that would be sweet. I hope they continue to do that. I think I see a little bit of gold right here. 
The Mew EX Gold. What a gold. beautiful card. It's always nice to see a little gold, and that's a good sign to start off the opening. Uh, not one of the ones we need, but like I said, once once it gets to a certain point, although we're not there yet, uh, I will just trade for whatever is left. I'm really going to hope that we can pull every single card ourselves, but at some point we will be moving on. But it doesn't seem like anytime soon. Um, really, there's no new set for quite some time. There's kind of a lull for the first time, I feel, uh, in the hobby, at least since I started back into it. H. Giovanni's Charisma, not the Giovanni we need, but still a very nice full art trainer. We'll sleeve that guy up too, so that was... A good tin. Is that one, two, three, four, five? All right, so this will be the last pack from the mini tins. Uh, depending on what we get, maybe not too godly. But yeah, the next the next set, and I'm very excited for, is Paldean Fates, which is another shiny set, but that doesn't come out until January 26. So we're waiting, I mean, over two months. Oh, probably like three months for a new set, which really, in the grand scheme of things, probably should be the amount of time it takes, but generally they arrive a lot quicker than that. So, to be two months away and myself not feeling the newest set, Paradox Rift, I mean... Yeah, I think it's going to be 151 that we're going to keep on opening. I think we're going to continue to hate the Dragonite's back. We have pulled him. Um, actually, the Dragonite was pulled in a... I forget what's, what it was. It was something else. It wasn't a 151 video. Uh, I warmed up with... I think it was the Evolving Skies mastering the set video I did because uh, we only had a couple couple of packs there. We opened up with some 151 and got the Dragonite, which had been eluding me for quite some time. Uh, so right now, all we need from him is the reverse. Uh, but yeah, uh, in terms of the opening on the channel, it'll be more 151, um, more older sets, but uh, not Paldea. Oh, Caterpie, there it is. We have one more we can add to the total. We are only nine cards away from mastering the set. But that Caterpie is one that we needed. That is great. That is wonderful. We'll put him up there as well. Excellent. I will say, too, if um, you are looking to pick up this set from now and probably until the end of the holiday season, I would say if you see it, grab it. I already been able to tell that it's a lot harder to to find in stores uh, than it has been for the past couple of weeks. So uh, I think with it, I think most people are kind of not too hyped on Paradox Rift and the fact that this is the best set available right now. It's going to it's going to sell quick. So if it's something that you want to rip for yourself or you want to get for a gift for others, I keep an eye out for it. All right, so we have one more pack for the first half. So the first 11 packs already gave us one card we need, which honestly, that is, that's pretty awesome. If, if we could get two cards that we need out of the 10 in this opening, that would be, honestly, that'd be pretty amazing. And the cards we need aren't super difficult to get. Two tabs. Man, that's pretty good. Pretty good right there. First half, gold cards, full art trainer, and an illustration rare. But you'll have to let me know which sets are you collecting as of right now are you still as high on 151 as i am is it something else are you just gonna wait for palde and fates i know at some point soon we will be opening up shining fates hey, he looks familiar huh still not the one we need uh but we will just leave him up nonetheless
Yeah, I wish. I wish I was able to open up more Hidden Fates. Um, I came back into the hobby a little bit after, well, maybe a year or so after, um, and it was already a set that was a little too expensive when I started, and now even more so. I have opened about six or eight packs. Didn't get anything crazy, but it was a really fun set. Much better than Shining Fates, in my opinion. Maybe that's one we can try to find on the secondary market and open. Although I would love to get a Hidden Fates ETB to keep sealed in the collection. Let's see, come on. Let's uh, slow roll this one. Haunter, Cycling Road. Can we get something here? Angela, nice. It is a awesome card. Not going to add to that, but a double... Double banger. We haven't got one of those in a long time. We'll still keep Tangela off to the side there. I think he can make his way on top of the VIP section. Golem, though, he exits. They don't deserve a spot in the VIP. Violet. Go. And let's keep on rolling. Pentacle. Bills transfer. A gold bat. Leftovers. Can we get something? Can we get something? Mr. Mime. Another illustration rare. Wow. Hey, doubled up on the Mr. Mimes. So we'll put that there. Not too bad. So we're, we're moving right along. We got about five or six packs left. Oh. Another thing too that I'd like to do is do another PSA submission. Um, so that will probably be coming up soon. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, I know it's a completely different TCG, but I'd love to be able to open up some more Lorcana. I think I was super lucky to be able to find that when I did. I have not seen any more out in the wild at all since that video from a couple months ago, I would say. Uh, and I do know that there's actually a new set coming out soon, if it isn't out already. And of course, there will be a random array of gaming videos as well. So. Just want to thank everyone already for who has been watching and hanging out, dropping comments, subscribing. I really appreciate you. Um, I mean, we're just getting started and already feel like doing so well, receiving a lot of love, and I appreciate you. And of course, at any time as well, we will be on Twitch, twitch.tv slash less than gauche as well where you can hang out with myself and a bunch of awesome people. We have a lot of fun. All right, so we are nearing the end here. The second half here, it's been a little slow on the hits. Uh, we have gotten a few of those illustration rares, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Maybe we are uh, coming back down to earth on the 151 too. We might be. I think we uh, started off really strong with this set. Actually, initially, we started off pretty rough. It was thought for many that the pull rates were going to be brutal, but I want to say, I don't know if there was a, a new wave or what, but obviously after that initial struggle, things have been gotten a lot better. But, okay, uh, we're starting to come back down to earth here. Uh, we only have two packs left, but we did get one card, that awesome Caterpie. So we're only nine away. Can we get one more though? Can we get one more? Bill's transfer, that is another full art trainer. 
we do have. Actually, let's do a quick check. Yes, I can confirm we do have that. We actually have all of the regular full art trainers. The only one that is left, again, is the special illustration rare of Giovanni. So this is it. This is our last pack magic. Can we get one more card to add to the master total? Can we get something else cool? Or will we flame out? in this last half of the opening. Let's see what we can do here. The Fable, we got it. Guys, we got it. Um, you know what that means, don't you? We've seen this before. Just when you thought, and by you I mean me, <laughs> that the opening wasn't gonna be anything special. Let's see what else we got behind here, shall we? Ooh. So then that means Yes, sir. Another God Pack. We were talking about it earlier, and we did it again. The same line, which uh, let's not complain about having another Charizard God Pack. There it is. Um, can we please sleeve these bad boys up? I, yeah, 151. This is, this is my set. This is the gauche set right here. Let us see. And this was not from a mini tin either, so. Let's see if the Charizard, how we are looking here. I mean, the front looks beautiful. The back though, that's where we have to check it out. Uh, well, yeah, a little whitening again. I'm having bad luck. The quality control with these are pretty brutal. Down in the bottom right too, but that's okay. That's okay. This is the third Charizard EX Special Illustration Rare and the second God Pack. Look at that. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. I, speechless. I think it's very easy to say that that was the best last pack magic call, at least that I have ever had, as we did pull another God Pack of the Charizard line. That's our third Charizard EX Special Illustration Rare, and the Poke Gods continue to shine upon me when it comes to Pokemon 151. We also did get one step closer to the Master Set goal and completing the collection as we are now nine cards away from doing so. So you know we will continue to open this extremely fun set and grind towards getting them all. But as always, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up by liking the video. Drop a comment down below. I love hearing from you, and I do my best to respond to all of you. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you, everyone, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Holy shit. That was nuts.